A giant airship that's been nicknamed the Flying Bum, because it looks strikingly like a flying bum from behind, will soon be taking rich tourists on luxury cruises over the North Pole. Here are the details. Futurism reports that a giant airship called the Airlander has been selected to take tourists on luxury air cruises over the North Pole. The tour company that plans to operate the cruise, Ocean Sky Cruises, recently announced that the Airlander 10, built by hybrid air vehicles, will be the aircraft serving the route. The tour company says the Airlander 10 is unlike any other aircraft, being the world's largest flying vehicle and using innovative technology to combine the best characteristics of fixed-wing airplanes, helicopters, and static lift by helium. The company says this combination creates a new breed of hyper-efficient aircraft with abilities to explore the Arctic in a completely new way. The Airlander 10 had previously gone viral on social media when it was nicknamed the Flying Bum because of how it looks. However, it looks like the Flying Bum will have the last laugh, as its low speed and high versatility makes it perfect for hosting tourists in spacious luxury while cruising slowly over scenic landscapes and wildlife. The pilot of the Airlander 10, Carl Oscar Lawacek, previously told CNN, We can go down to 300 feet, even 100 feet if needed, as slow as a bike, in order to offer a glimpse of those polar habitats to our passengers. Airbus has unveiled a groundbreaking project to develop three new planes that will run on hydrogen and leave only water vapor in their wake. One of these zero-emission planes will also feature a revolutionary blended wing design, while the other two would be conventionally shaped airplanes with game-changing hydrogen engines. Currently, jet engines, like less powerful turboprop engines, use a highly flammable fossil fuel called kerosene. Kerosene is made from oil and is injected directly into jet engines, where it explodes, heating and expanding air that has been compressed by the engine. This explosive process creates enormous thrust, which pushes huge airplanes forward at very high speeds. Unfortunately, kerosene is a fossil fuel, so it produces a lot of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide when it burns, creating quite a lot of air pollution. For these revolutionary new planes, Airbus plans to develop a gas turbine engine that can burn hydrogen in the same way. They also plan to use embedded electrical motors that are powered by hydrogen fuel cells. The great thing about this is that hydrogen turns into water when it burns with oxygen, so these planes would emit zero pollution into Earth's atmosphere. Unfortunately, this dream is facing a lot of obstacles that Airbus will have to overcome before 2035, which is the ambitious deadline they set for the project's completion. Apart from the technical challenges of getting engines to work with only hydrogen, there is also the huge problem of safely storing and transporting hydrogen. Hydrogen is a gas and has to be cooled to minus 253 degrees Celsius to turn it into liquid. That's right, minus 253 degrees Celsius. Ouch, that means it has to be cooled to minus 253 degrees before it's pumped into the plane, and it has to be kept at this incredibly low temperature in the plane and all the way into the engine. So, it is clear that a hydrogen-powered flight would require quite a leap in technology, not just in airplane and airport design, but also in the ability of industries to produce enough hydrogen at a reasonable price. Because of this, Airbus said they'll need the help of governments and industry leaders, and with the current state of global warming and pandemics, the world may soon have no choice but to support this ambitious idea. Airbus recently announced a breakthrough concept to sidestep a lot of the challenges associated with hydrogen-powered flight. The company's new idea is to place fully independent hydrogen fuel systems into pods that can easily be clicked on and off the wings of a turboprop airplane. These pods would contain their own fuel and engine systems, allowing Airbus to remove all fuel tanks from the plane's fuselage, thereby adding a lot more space for cargo and passenger seats. The pods would also add a safety element, as it would move the flammable hydrogen fuel from the fuselage to the wing, where a pod can easily be jettisoned in the unlikely event of a fire. The plan is to attach three pods on each wing. Each pod would contain a liquid hydrogen tank with its own cooling system, a fuel cell, power electronics, and electric motors that will spin an eight-bladed lightweight propeller. On the ground, each pod can simply be replaced with a fueled and serviced pod, which removes the need to refuel the plane with the complex systems needed to keep the hydrogen at very cold temperatures. Aerospace company Hybrid Air Vehicles has unveiled what the interior of the world's largest aircraft will look like. The Airlander 10 is powered by four 325-horsepower turbocharged diesel engines and uses aerodynamic lift like a fixed-wing aircraft to take off. Helium keeps the Airlander in the air. The airship can carry payloads of up to 10,000 kilograms and stay in the air for five days at a time with a crew. It also doesn't require a runway. 
The 302-foot-long Airlander 10 is about 60 feet longer than the world's largest passenger plane, the Airbus A380. Traveling up to 146.45 kilometers, the luxurious airship will be able to carry up to 19 passengers to take part in a three-day journey. Designed by aviation and automobile design firm DesignQ, the airship features ensuite bedrooms, a bar, and a lounge area. And there's also floor-to-ceiling windows so passengers can enjoy the view from 16,000 feet. Stephen McLennan, CEO of HAV, said in a press release that Airlander challenges people to rethink the skies. He also mentioned that air travel has become about getting from A to B as quickly as possible. What they're offering is a way of making the journey a joy. In the past, the airship had suffered some setbacks from a nosedive in August 2016 to a safety feature that was triggered that caused the airship to deflate in 2017. Airlander 10 has completed six successful test flights so far. It needs to complete 200 incident-free hours to be able to carry passengers for commercial flights. How would you enjoy seeing the world like the passengers of the Hindenburg? Um, maybe that wasn't the best example. The world's largest aircraft, the Airlander 10, made by hybrid air vehicles, is set to be tested by travel company Henry Cookson Adventures to take tourists on exotic trips around the world. The aircraft is powered by four 325-horsepower turbocharged diesel engines and uses aerodynamic lift like a fixed-wing aircraft to take off. Helium keeps the Airlander in the air. The airship can carry payloads of up to 10,000 kilograms and stay in the air for five days at a time with the crew. It also doesn't require a runway. The passenger version of the Airlander 10 is expected to be able to cruise at 80 knots at an altitude of up to 20,000 feet. The Airlander 10 is currently still in its test flight phase and looking to gain airworthiness certification. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.